Hey, beautiful. Miss beautiful. I want to take you out for a nightcap that cool. Hey, beautiful. If y'all don't know, this is Can I Be Your Best Friend? Hello, 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 hello. And make sure y'all tell all y'all friends, we kind of lit over here. Today, we are going to be talking about, why am I still single? Like, okay, let's say this. When I wasn't putting myself out there, I get it. I get why I was single, right? Because I wasn't looking. When they was looking at me, I would hide, right? I wasn't looking. I wasn't putting myself out there. And I feel like now that I kind of, I am, I've been putting myself out there. Not that I'm looking, because let it's not that I'm looking, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking my time. I know a lot of people say, well, best friend, take your time. He will come. Blase, blase, blase. But I'm really starting to believe, and I could be wrong, that maybe I'm just meant to be single. I'm really starting to believe that maybe I am supposed to be single because babies, these men just don't act right. Like, these men just don't act right. I tell you, I'm telling you this, you know, people say, well, play hard to get. I do that. Fail. Be more feminine, right? Don't be maybe as aggressive. I did that. Failed. People say, well, don't call so much. I did that. They don't call. I call. When I do call, I call too much. Like, when you've been out the game for so long, I don't know what I'm doing correct and what I'm not. Like, this stuff is hard. Like, and I know I'm a baddie. Like, you know when you find, you like, it's not what I look like because I know I look, and I know I'm smart and I know I'm intelligent, but what is the problem? Like, I'm starting to believe it's the places that I'm going. I think it's a damn, damn dating site. Maybe I should delete the, date, the dating site. Comment below. If y'all think I should switch to a da another dating site or I should find another source of maybe meeting people, comment below. Tell me what you think. Like, honestly, what you think. And I'm going to do exactly what y'all tell me, suggestions of what y'all think I should do. Because the, what I'm doing ain't working. It ain't working. So, story time. I'm on the, the dating site. I told you Hinge or whatever. I, like I said, I've been on it. I, like I said, I keep seeing the, I keep seeing the um, commercial saying like this is meant to be deleted so i'm like yeah i'm gonna find me a man we're gonna delete the app we're gonna find us a man we're gonna delete the app we're gonna find us a man we're gonna delete the app we're gonna delete the app right so i'm in there i put all my fine pictures up you know what i'm saying because after the last video i said maybe i gotta revamp right so let me put up some new pictures so i put up some new pictures i you know what i'm saying and i came across the guy from new york now I'm a West Coast chick, as y'all can see. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. I'm a West Coast chick, and you know, I know I, I, I've, 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 what I have East Coast friends. I have like friends from New York, right? And I get along with them very well, but I can never see myself dating them. Like I can never see myself dating them. I feel like if I did date them, that we would like. Oh, because like we just bam bam, like we talk two different languages. I feel like West Coast and East Coast is like talking. It's like being in the same world, but speaking two different languages. We like two different type of foods. We dress different. Like our choice of music is different. Everything about West Coast and East Coast is just completely different. So I knew, I knew. So I had a feeling it was gonna be an epic fail. I just knew it, but in my heart, I could just hear somebody in the live world, shout out to y'all, telling me, best friend, maybe you should stop being so picky. 
Best friend, give it a try. I listened to y'all and I was right. Y'all was wrong, I was right. This is what happened. Story time with best friend. So he reaches out to me and um, over like the course of maybe three or four days of us texting each other over through the app, he asked me uh, when are we gonna link up? Like, hey, when can we meet? Where can we link up? I thought it was cool, because as y'all know, the last video, I wanted a dude to, you know, act, you know, communication, like communication, communication, communication. That's what I wanted. So, hmm, I'm finally getting a guy legit that is communicating, actually wanna meet up, you know, great vibes. He's conversing with me back and forth. I'm thinking this, you know, in the picture, he looked like he was short. I'm only five, two and a half. Don't forget the half. So, you know what I'm saying? I can't really judge nobody. But I also was thinking to myself, I hope he ain't short, short. So, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of ignored him because I already had a, like a, a bad taste in my mouth about the other, you know, the, the, the teeth guy, teethy, you know, kind of scared me because like the dude, it wasn't smiling in his pictures and I was like, I don't want him to go through that again because if I do, I'm like, I'm setting myself up because like, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to stick in here, right? Right? Because that's what dating is, you know, seeing what you like and see what you don't like and like okay but don't count the dude out so he asked me again like three days later after he asked the first time like hey when can we meet can we read link um do you want to go for some coffee um i would love to sit down and have a conversation with you and i was like i was like you want to have coffee with your best friend okay uh, i was like come on through God answered my prayers. God gave me a man that com that communicate and like coffee. This may work. Because I was getting real excited about it. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, you know, when your daughter go to school, I was like, you know what I'm saying? She goes to school from this time to this time. He's like, all right, let, let's link about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I was like, bet. He was late on the freeway, so he... Text me along the way, like every you know, three to five minutes. Let me know he was leaving. It was a little traffic. He was just getting off the thing. He was pulling up. I was like, oh, communicator, communicator. So I was excited. Like I was like, I love you when you call me big papa. I was like excited, like super excited, like. And so when he pulled up, he said he was outside. So. I put that good old Gucci on, hair, laid, lashes, applied, I put my cute jeans on, matter of fact, I'm gonna put a picture right here in what I had on so y'all can see how fun I look. And um, so, you know, I had a cute little shirt, I didn't want to overdo it, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to, you know, wear something that, you know, that screams like, take me now, you know what I'm saying, marry me tomorrow. I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to scare him away. So I did some jeans. Like I said, a cute little top. Like I said, the picture's going to be right here. And um, I was super uberly nervous. And I was like, okay, be myself. Be myself. As I'm walking down the stairs, be myself. You got this. You a bad. You a baddie. You a baddie. You got this. Girl, you going to knock this out the park. So as I turn the corner, bop, bop. I'm not that good with BMWs because I'm, I'm a Mercedes girl myself, but he had a fly four door BMW fly. And I was just looking like, and as he seen me, he looked like he was happy in what he seen. You know, yeah. He got out, he was tall. I was like, yeah, yeah. He opened the door, he gave me a hug, he embraced me. like. And I was like, and he smelled good. And I was like, bing, bing. So he was like, um, you know, do you know any good coffee shops around here? I was like, well, I'm new to the area. I don't know no coffee coffee shops. And uh, I know Starbucks, you know what I'm saying? So we was about to go to Starbucks, but then he also was talking about like, he had to go return something from Ikea. So I was like, fuck it, let's go to Ikea. So Ikea was like 20 minutes up the street or whatever. He did complain a little bit, irritated me a little bit, but I was like, whatever, whatever. So we, we go to Ikea and it was kind of dope or whatever, whatever. Like, um, 
I don't know if this is dope, but I'm gonna tell you what happened. So it it showed me that he trusted me because he just met me. But this is what happened. So as we're walking into IKEA, he hands me his wallet and his car keys to his car. And I was like, what is this for? He was like, put it in your purse or whatever. And I was like, now mind you, he had some leather pants on. I know y'all may be like, best friend, really? Leather pants in the summertime? I was thinking that too. Because the first thing I thought was, waiting to exhale. Remember when she was like, you leather wearing in the summertime? And she was throwing the that's what I thought. But he was fine with the leather on. So it didn't bother me at all. And you know what I'm saying? He was cute. So I took his little keys and his little wallet, whatever, and I put it in my purse. And I was like, because in my mind, I was like, okay, cool. He Maybe he's giving me this. Maybe it's a test. Maybe whatever. Maybe because he trusts me. But wow. We went out to customer service. He got his store credit to get his, um, you know, rods for his um, curtains. We went around the store, whatever, asked me did I want anything from the bop bop. I'm like, nah, I'm away from my coffee. We walk around, we talk, he looking at my booty and stuff. And, you know, he kept make, making little gestures of like, you know what I'm saying? He digging your girl. And I'm like, I was digging him. And we flirted a little bit and I felt comfortable or whatever. I helped him like pick out like the stuff for his curtains. Like, it was such a vibe. Like, yes, don't make fun of me. It was an Ikea day. But it was it was a vibe. So then we, whatever, we go pay for the stuff, blah, blah, blah. I, you know, I open the door, whatever. He, we in the car, we're talking. He's asking me questions. I'm asking him questions. You know, he asks me, like, exactly what am I looking for? I tell him exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for somebody that's in the long, in the, in the long term is going to be my best friend. Someone legit that I can be my lover my homie, you know, my partner in crime, somebody I can do, you know, grow, you know, have investments with one day, someone I can really grow with, you know. And he was, you know, he was like, okay, cool. Like he was, you know, for da da da. He just moved to um, Texas from New York, maybe um, at that time, maybe like uh, 45 days. And I've been out here only 45 days. So legit, we came around the same time. He had two children, I have one. So it was like, okay, boom, you know, whatever, whatever. He lived maybe 20 minutes away from me. He had a dog, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was like a match made in heaven. Like, I really was, you know, betting on this situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm betting on it. But I couldn't hang out with him because um, my daughter was, was still here. And um, my daughter was here, whatever, whatever. And I had to feed her and get her together. Da, da, da. So I called him, whatever, and I was like, I'm not going to be able to. Um, no, 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 I lied. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So he called me because I'm, like, messing up the story. So he called me and was like, hey. I was like, he was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm not doing anything, whatever. I'm just, you know, relaxing, whatever, with my daughter. He was like, well, um, you should come over and drink some wine with me on my patio. And I was like, well, what are you doing right now? He was like, I'm walking my dog, whatever, whatever. I was like, I bet. Um, but I was like, I'm, I was like, I'm not gonna be able to come because, you know, I got my daughter. Da 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 da. Um, the neighbor wanted um, to invite my daughter over to her house for a couple of hours. So I was like, okay, maybe this could work. So then he hung up, whatever, because you can tell he got an attitude. So he hung up without saying bye. That was a little irritating. <laughs> Red flag. Who hangs up? Um, are we kids here? So then I called him back 30 minutes later after my neighbor was like, she was going to, you know, watch for Maya. So then I called him back. He didn't answer. I called him again. No answer. I called him again. He didn't answer. I texted him. I was like, are you upset? He called me instantly. He was like, nah, shorty. Not shorty, but, you know, that's me just, you know. But he was like, nah, you know. You know how New Yorkers talk. Nah, I ain't mad. You know, you know, go do your thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to, you know, pray to your parade. You know, you a mom. You know, do what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't need to come over here all anyways when you got your daughter. And da -da -da. I'm thinking, you wasn't worried about me coming over there when you just asked about me. Uh, whining and chilling with, with your tail you wasn't worried about me having a daughter then so now you worried about because I told you no and now your feelings hurt <laughs> which one is it Papa Bear <laughs> which one you mad mm, you mad but I was going whatever like if you mad getting your feelings do you boo boo like I ain't <sighs> so I was like let me let a couple days go by so I let a couple of days go by I was like whatever let me whatever cool off 
he called me on that no I texted him on that Sunday because I ain't heard from him like three four days three days so I hit him up on that Sunday and was like hey um, I'm confused you know we went from like you know talking and facetiming all the time to you just kind of like I'm not hearing from you I don't know if you're upset da, 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 da. he don't respond Monday, he hit me up and was like, hey, check this out. Oh, you know, I, we ain't even did nothing yet. I ain't even had none of that yet. And you over here blowing my phone up, wondering, asking me questions and um, expecting stuff from me. And I, we ain't even slept together yet. And I'm looking like, so we got to sleep together for you to call me back? Because you was calling me back before and you ain't tapped this. So I'm confused. Like, it's like. So let, let me ask y'all. So, so I'm not allowed to ask a question if you ain't tapping this? Maybe, because once again, I've got the game for a minute. I don't know how these rules go. So I'm like, so you tell it. So I told him this. I'm like, so you're telling me, me asking you where do we go wrong because they have changed, right? That's me clocking you? I was like, boy, bye. So he was kind of being a little aggressive, like that East Coast, you know, the East Coast. And I was like, nah, player, what you ain't going to do, because the little West Coast came out. I was like, what you ain't going to do is make me seem like I'm thirsty, because I ain't thirsty. That's what I ain't. And you ain't about to sit there and make it seem like I'm chasing you. I'm not chasing you. I'm asking you a question. And the question was, why did things change? What what happened? Like, what where, where did we go wrong? Right? That's the only thing I'm, I'm saying. He talking about some, hey, yo, I ain't trying to, you know, I ain't trying to argue with you. I ain't trying to go back and forth. The ball is in your court. You tell me what you want to do. I said, don't worry about it. I said, you do you because apparently you ain't hitting me back and you got a lot of time on your hand and there's a lot of stuff that you're doing. You claiming you're busy. Do you. And I'm going to continue to do me because I got a lot of stuff going on. And if... Um, if we cross paths, we cross paths. If not, whatever, whatever. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little Christian side, cause like I said, this was supposed to be my boo, but he messed it up. Then he said, yeah, you know what else bothered me? And I was like, what? He was like, the fact that you're a 20 to 25 minute drive from me, and I was going to drive to your house, pick you up, drive back, and then drop you off, and then drive back. And I'm thinking to myself, first of all, if you like me, if you vibe with me, what is the problem with doing that? You act like it's an hour drive. You act like it's 45 minutes. It's like you said, it's between 18 and 25 minutes. It ain't even that far. Second of all, you act like I don't have a vehicle. My vehicle at the time um, uh, messed up or whatever. And I told in legit that um, Sunday that we, we were arguing or whatever, I just fixed my vehicle. But I was going to tell him that because he already tried to play me. You know what I'm saying? My car is paid off. You know what I'm saying? He tried to play me like I'm a broke and I ain't. So I ain't gonna lie. I was getting my feelings at this point. I'm like, I'm ready to get off the phone. Like you got me messed up or whatever. And then he did that little stupid thing where he didn't say bye. He was like, I why well, holla at you and hung up. Do, do they not say bye in New York? Do y'all not say bye in New York? Cause this man don't know how to say bye. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, hmm, this ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. At this point, I'm I'm upset. Um, I've been off the dating site for a, a while after that because I had to really think to myself, like, here I am vibing, like I'm really like, y'all don't know what to do. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. Am I gonna be single forever? Like. <laughs> I really, okay, let me stop playing. Like, I really don't know. Like, I don't know if you guys are like me, where you really do, like, you're really trying to put yourself out there. Like, you are really trying. And it's like, people be trying to play you like you are the crazy person. Like, like how is me asking for a small bit of communication? How is that wrong of me? Like, how am I asking for too much? Like, you bugging. Like, like once again does communication not exist like why is he and if, like i said he was a great communicator but it's like so you telling me as soon as you as soon as you don't get your way then you stop communicating like as soon as you don't get what you want from me then you want to stop communicating with me 
Like, where I'm from, it's called a tantrum. I have a kid. That's called a tantrum. He done gave me a New York tantrum. And I don't care how fine you are, how much money you got, what you drive, how much your credit score is, how many properties you own. I'm not going to do it because I'm not, I'm not, mm, you grown, I'm grown. You can communicate, I can communicate. And on top of that, I feel like just because we have a disagreement doesn't mean that I throw in a towel. That doesn't mean that um, I stop liking you just because you get on my nerves. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I need to take a step back, but that doesn't mean I, 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 I don't like you or I'm, I'm not, I, I'm, I no longer vibe with you. So he just blew me, man. He just... But a piece of me is like, I don't want to give up. I don't want to give up in dating. I don't want to throw in a towel. I don't want to give up on this, this beautiful thing called love, right? Because I feel like it's, I feel like it's, it's, it's for me. Like, like I said before, I feel like everybody should experience love. You know, coming from a relationship where I was constantly cheated on and neglected and, you know, mentally abused and where I come from, like, not feeling worthy. And, and, and I'm, I've, I've had, like I said, close to four years to really sit by myself and be by myself. And then, I, and they say, and it's so crazy because I, I tell men, like, what I want. And they always say, well, are you able to give a man everything that you're asking for right and I'm like of course like there's no way I want to ask for a man to, to communicate with me if I cannot if I'm not a good communicator right and it's so crazy because ladies and gents it's weird to me because if you overly communicate then you come across as being a bugaboo stalkerish you know all these things and it's like but that's what good communication is. No, I'm not gonna be blowing up your phone every five, 10 minutes, but asking you how your day at work is, asking you, you know, to let you, you know, if I miss you, I'm gonna be like, I miss you. If um, I'm thinking about you, you know, I'm going to reach out. I think that's what you do when you like somebody, when you vibing with somebody. And I think it's complete opposite when you're not feeling someone. Like if I wasn't feeling him, I wouldn't communicate, right? I would ghost him. You know what I'm saying? Like the teeth guy. Like I never, I never, I never reached out. I never reached out back to um, Teethy Gang after I met him. I think he got the hint. And also too, like the other dude. Like I think I'm that I was talking about in you know the the other video. It's like, if I am not interested, I'm not in a, the, 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 I'm not in a space of like wasting time. Once again, I'm big on, if I am feeling you, but you're not feeling me, I'm, I prefer for you to tell me that you're not feeling me. So that way we can stop, you know, communicating, which is fine. Right. But for this dude to make it seem like I don't have any place to ask, to ask him any questions or show any concerns because I'm not sleeping with him. It was, it, was beneath, it was beyond me. And, and the thing is, me dating for me doesn't mean I'm sleep. I have to sleep with you. Me dating you doesn't mean that I have to offer my body to you. You know what I'm saying? That's, dating is just dating. Me getting to know if I want to um, even want to explore that with you, right? If we have a chemistry, we have a vibe. And so the fact of you telling me I don't have the right to do this because we're not sleeping together. It's crazy to me. Like that is crazy. Um, Cause once again, I've been out the game. In the comments, let me know. Does that mean if we sleep together, does that mean I have more rights? Does that mean I have more pull to ask more questions? Like I'm confused. I think it's stupid. But maybe, maybe in this new 2023 dating era, maybe that's how y'all roll. But, um, and, and, and then if somebody asks me, so best friend, would you date somebody from New York again? All I'm saying is this, if he even mentioned Ikea, I'm running, I'm running far, far. Coffee or Ikea, I'm running. I'm gonna be like, nah, this ain't gonna work. I do like the swag of a New York dude. Like, he's confident, right? I do like it. Heavy on, never make one dude pay for what another dude have done. Like, I'm big on that. Like, I'm never going to judge every New York dude 
um, um, to this New York dude. You know what I'm saying? Do I love a swag of a West Coast dude? Absolutely. Do I love the more gentle side with a little rough around the edges, you know what I'm saying, of a man from the South? Absolutely. But one thing about a man from the East Coast, he's very confident in his presence. And that's what I that's what I did notice about the dude. Like, he was very confident by how he spoke, how he walked, how he talked. He was very um, confident. And I do like that. And I'm not saying that, you know, maybe my man's supposed to be from New York. I don't know. All I'm saying is, like, one monkey ain't going to stop no show with any other dude. Right? You know what I'm saying? I don't care where he's from. You know what I'm saying? Where he's from. As long as he don't need a visa. Because I can't help you. <laughs> um, but... Like I said, I just, I'm not going to give up on love, y'all. I just, I'm still out here in the dating scene, you know. I've been going out every weekend. I've been trying to see what's out there. I've been more open. I haven't given up on the dating sites. I've been putting myself out there and just seeing what sticks. But at the same time, as a woman, I'm not chasing nothing that doesn't want to be caught respectfully. It's like fishing in a water for you know what I'm saying? And he keep running. I'm not going to keep throwing my bait in there. He ain't trying to catch it. You know what I'm saying? Because if somebody's going to swim up to my little bait and, and, and catch my stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, so why would I sit there and worry about the people legit that is not trying to latch on to my love, you know, all this loving? When there's a dude out there that's willing to. And it's so crazy because, you know, ironically, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> plenty of fish. But, and, and I, I'm a firm believer of that. So I, I'm going to say this. You know what I'm saying? We come to the end of the video. I'm going to say this. Don't never make one person pay for what another person did. Right? To turn you off. So let's say, for example, like I had a bad run in with, you know, um, the dude from New York. Like, I'm never... So, if I see another New York dude and he, you know, crushing on me, I'm not going to sit there and be like, uh, no, New York dude, like, ugly, yucky, yucky, yucky. No. Or, like, let's say if, you know, a woman, let's say she's taller than you and a, you got your heart broken by a woman that was taller than you. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't prejudge before you really vibe with a person. And that's, that's super big on that because I, I hear a lot of people say, well, if... I tried it and it didn't work to do something else. But sometimes it's just that person. It has nothing to do with every person that looked like that or every person that's like that, right? You can't make this person, you know, um, suffer um, and for meeting maybe a dope person because this other person that looked similar to them or acts similar to them legit, you know, has screwed you over. Um, best friend is not going to give up on love, y'all. I'm still out there. Like I said, comment below and where you think I should go to try to find me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, not trying to find because I ain't really looking, but I'm looking. You know what I'm saying? Um, to find the man of my dreams because I know he's out there. And one day, I'm going to find love and I'm going to be happy and all that great stuff. But until then, I must learn how to just be happy with myself like I've been doing and continue to give you guys some great stories. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank y'all for tuning in to Let's Talk About It update about dating a New Yorker. And how that went. <laughs> Love y'all and see y'all later. Hello.